and super soon is mine. So I have all these really cool slimes and I was thinking, yeah, I wanna make a video about them. I can't open the lid. You know, it's got little sparklies on the bottom and- So pretty. I thought what I do is I just buy them because yeah, I wanna play with some slime and make a video about them and um, just an excuse to play with slime, an adult playing with slime, you know, normal stuff. Got this one as well. And I'm really interested. No, pesto, not your slime. Not your slime, not your slime. No. No. Okay, she's gone. Sort of. I was thinking that I would do a video like I did with the uh, squishies, where I do a character based off the slimes. Oh yeah, ultra rare. Wow. Uh, it's got some skank in it now. Ew. My slime. <laughs> Let's put that away. Ugh. It really smells of Fanta, like sweets, which is kind of nice. Ooh. Okay, let's get a let's get drawing, shall we? Okay, I started out by drawing a sketch in my sketchbook and then really liking some stuff that I had done. So I took it to the computer and I scanned it and then I printed out a bigger version and I inked it out on the light box. I then taped it down and proceeded to paint my characters. So a little bit about the characters, I thought what I'd do is I'd take each colour of the slime, so there's pinks, oranges, yellows, greens and blues and then there's this see-through colour. And I thought I would do is just do like three schoolgirls on maybe like a science project field trip type thing where they have to capture like tadpoles or like just look at the ecosystem of a river they're visiting or something and they all have maybe different personalities their aesthetic is based on the colors and i think maybe one is just you know trying to net something but then what appears is the character that was inspired by the seafood slime so she's sort of like maybe this magical creature who's come across them and she's going to give them powers or something and then they can become like these these superhero girls or just like card captor sakura kind of type girls i don't know and i really had this idea that the three of them just weren't friends to begin with and they've all been lumbered together on this school field trip as a as a team project type thing and one of them is just playing the switch that they brought along with them not bothered not even noticing this creature coming out and one of them is like in the background is based on the blue slime she's like a real nerd so she's really focused but then she sees this creature and she's like what and the other one the pink one is obviously the person who the see-through slime creature uh, monster is aiming for i really liked this story that i came up with and it was really bizarre because i thought oh i'll just make some cute girl drawings off like the slimes but the whole story just came to me and i thought it was just a nice little story and a cool concept behind a drawing the imagery was obviously painted on this watercolour paper but it's just this cheap watercolour pa paper that I have lying around because I ran out of like my, my nice watercolour paper which was like this block one so I had to use this cheap one because I didn't have any other one and it just didn't hold the water very well and I would put it down and it would just like not spread well enough and it bothered me a lot so I want to invest in some really nice watercolour paper maybe when um, my Kickstarter is funded which it's fully funded by the way in case you you are wondering and I'm really excited by that. I want to obviously use it to help me create more art um, which is really exciting and yeah but anyway complete tangent the paper was bad so it was quite hard to work with. Then I went in with some pencils and made it more of a mixed media vibe because I really liked the way the pencils work with like the watercolors and stuff and I think it just gave it like texture and more depth so in the end it turned out pretty fun and I liked it a lot. I especially like the story as I said before and I hope you guys like it as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and yeah that's pretty much all I've got to say about this piece. Maybe I'll redraw these girls again with the powers they receive from this magical creature from the lake. Okay, so it wouldn't be a slime video without some slime mixing. I'm gonna mix all these slimes together and make a gelatinous um, brown mass, which is what tends to happen because, you know, if you mix all colors together, it's gonna be brown, like poop. You didn't know that fact, did you? You'll learn something new every day. Let's go.
So that's the end of the video guys. I'm super satisfied by this. It doesn't even look brown. I think because I added so much blue, it's kind of turned into this sea green, which is really nice. <laughs> and I'm going to put this all back in these little pots and just have loads of these sea green slime colours. Look how cool that is! As for the illustration, I'm really pleased in the way that it turned out. I probably talked about this already in the in the speed paint, but I just love these girls and I think there's such a cool story behind them. And who'd have thought that that could all come from a slime as inspiration? Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe for more stupid crazy content and I will see you the next time. Bye! <sighs> this is exhausting honestly. <laughs> <laughs> what have I got myself into? By the way guys, my Kickstarter is up and running for the horror comic So if you would like to check that out, go ahead The link is in description and there's some great rewards to be had. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks I'd just like to give a shout out to all my $12 tier patrons. They are the real MVPs They are Lee and Steph, Tom, Cecile, Tim, Megan and James if you would like a shout out at the end of my videos, then check out my Patreon down below. Bye.